St. Quirin, St. Juliet, Martyrs, 330, Tarsi, Cilicia. Here follow the lives of St. Quirin and St. Juliet. St. Quirin was son of a noble lady of Iconium, which lady would flee the persecution, and she went with her son Quirin, which then was but three years old, into the city of Tarsus in Cilicia. And she was there presented to Alexander the Provost, and bare her child in her arms, which when her two chamberers saw that, Anon they fled and left her alone. Then the provost took the child in his arms, and Juliet his mother refusing to do sacrifice, he made her to be scourged with raw sinews. And when the child saw his mother beaten he wept bitterly and made a lamentable noise, but the provost took it in his arms and danced it upon his knees, and would fain please the child with kissings and fair words. The child, always beholding his mother, abhorred the kissings of the provost, and turned his head away from him with great indignation, and scratched his face with his nails, and gave his cries consonant into his mother, as he should have said, and I am also Christian. Then he bit the provost, and wrestling with him all to scratched him. Then the provost, having indignation hereof and in a great anger, threw down the child off the steps whereas he sat in judgment, that the tender brain fell abroad out of his head upon the steps, then Juliet seeing her son go to heaven to for her, gave thankings unto God, and she was thereof right glad. Then it was commanded that Juliet should be flayed, and burning pitch cast on her, and at the last her head to be smitten off. And it is found in another legend that Quirin despised the tyrant as well when he closed him as when he blamed him, and confessed him to be Christian, albeit that he was over young to speak but the Holy Ghost spake in him. When then the provost demanded of him who had so taught him, he answered and said, O thou provost I marvel much thy folly which seest me so young of age, not being yet three years old, and demandest who hath taught me this divine wisdom. Thou mayst clearly see that it cometh from God. When the child was beaten he cried, I am Christian. And the more that he cried, the more strength among the torments he received. And the judge did to dismember the mother with the child, and all to hew them in pieces, and because their members should not be buried of the Christian people, he commanded that they should be cast and dispurpled abroad. But notwithstanding they were of an angel gathered together, and in the night buried by the Christian people, whose bodies were showed in the time of Constantine the Great when peace was in the church, by a maid which had been one of her chambers, that then yet lived, and were head of all the people in great devotion, they suffered martyrdom about the year of our Lord 330 under Alexander. Amen.